Hi, I'm Chad Tracy and I'm the Director of Minimally Invasive Surgery and Kidney Stone Treatment at the University of Iowa. Today I'm going to talk to you about the surgical treatment of kidney stones. More than 10% of the population will have a kidney stone at some point in their life. Before we talk about the treatment of stones, I want to talk about the basic anatomy of the kidney. The kidney has two parts. It has this hard part out here which is responsible for filtering your blood. It then makes urine, which drains down this funnel, called the ureter, to the bladder, and then finally, out the urethra. Treatment of kidney stones relies on three main topics, size, location, and hardness. The most common type of treatment for kidney stones is what's called shockwave lithotripsy. This is a procedure where shockwaves are passed through the patient's back up to the level of the kidney stone. It then makes small pieces of stone which can then pass on their own down the bladder and out the urethra. Shockwave lithotripsy works best for smaller stones and also stones that are softer because these pieces are more likely to pass down the ureter and out the bladder. It does not work well for stones that are in the lower part of the kidney because these stones have to come up over a hill to pass down the ureter. It works much better for stones in the top part of the kidney because those pieces can pass down and out by themselves. Another type of treatment for kidney stones is what's called ureteroscopy. This is a procedure where your surgeon will pass a small scope through the urethra, up the ureter, and to the level of the stone where the stone can be broken up into small pieces using a laser. Those pieces can then either be removed with a small basket or made small enough to pass on their own. Unlike shockwave lithotripsy, ureteroscopy does not rely on the hardness of the stone or the location, but it can have less efficacy with larger stones, which are much harder to remove through the smaller ureter. The last type of treatment for kidney stones is generally used for large kidney stones. This type of treatment requires placement of a small tube into the patient's back. Then through that tube, we can pass specialized instruments up into the kidney that allow us to break it up and remove the pieces with suction. Following your kidney stone surgery, it's important to be evaluated for causes of kidney stones. Only after this evaluation can you work on preventing future stones and future surgeries. Thank you.